So, welcome you all to the geography optional. Now, first of all, this is Sweden at Diademy IS. We are going to see today why to choose this geography optional. What is the advantages of the geography optional? And why, you know, what are the success rate of this geography optional? See, and also what are the ways to choose an optional first? And how we have to choose an optional? And what are the advantages and also challenges? There is a myths going on around the market about the optionals. Just say, you see, UPSC selects only few optionals. So UPSC doesn't do these things. It depends upon the students who are writing the quality of answers and the examiner when he is checking these answers he is able to see the quality content in that answer then only the marks will be allotted to them but there are myths what are the myths ye optional mat lo ye bahut bada hai and this is not like and this has been curbed by the upsc from the last few years like such things never happen kyunki it is because like you have a son you have daughters you have sons and daughters you see everyone in the same manner you does not discriminate them am i right the same thing ups also does so optionals are like sons and daughters for them so they does not discriminate anyone it depends upon the student am i right it depends upon the students who are writing this right so first of all this is a major thing that 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 is there so see first let us see here what are the how to choose an optional see how to choose an optional is first thing is about your interest in the subject interest in the subject am i right so you have an interest interest in the subject interest in the subject and your skills so what is the interest what is an interest see here suppose and who will choose generally geography can be taken by anybody from any background that depends upon your background as well as your skills like for example i say if i say if you see that see first of all interest in the subject that means suppose you are from the technical background you are from technical background and you are from non technical background i suppose you are from non technical background okay so if you are technical background if you are from the technical background then you need to choose those options which you are familiar that means there is no Uh, uh, which is not philosophical so like for example you see there are subjects which are very philosophical there are subjects which are very subject which are technical in nature so if you are from the engineering background that is from engineering background or you are from you know you are from the other technical backgrounds like bsc science backgrounds okay you are from the science backgrounds then this optional might be suiting you more logical thinkings are there so understanding your in this suppose in that subject that subject is very technical in nature whichever subject it is whether it is a geography or etc any subject which might be suppose if it is very technical in nature if it is very technical that means not heavy technical if it is a technical in nature then understand logical thinkings can be done logical logically you can think more and understanding makes very easy understanding makes easy makes easy for you am i right here suppose you are from the non technical background okay and you wanted to do the you know majorly you wanted to have the non logical thinkings non logical thinkings like for example 
you are from non technical background and non logical logical thinking so you can understand better which is more philosophical in nature philosophical philosophical in nature am i right so that if you make if you understand then it depends upon what your subject and skill your skill is like for example i am from engineering background i can understand more technical then uh, select the subjects which are more suits to you i am from non technical background but i want to choose those subjects which are non technical i am fed up with x y z i am fed up with you know the logical understandings of the things so it is better way that you can go for any other subjects like for example i have done like for example you see i have done ma political science example okay or i have done msc geography msc geography or i have my in undergrad that is my graduation level at the graduation level i have taken like for example i have done a ba ba from history geography and public administration or political science something right so based on this these three things or based on these things or based on these things i can select one optional which is more suitable to my skill my interest which i have developed over a period of time that helps you in taking or choosing an optional okay number 1 second if you look at the second thing see second thing is overlapping overlapping with the gs am i right overlapping with the general studies and how it has overlap with the geography we will see with the geography we will see how it is going to overlap am i right so these things we will see and third and foremost thing is availability of quality study materials this is major 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 thing and coaching or guidance anything whatever it may be whether it is a coaching or guidance or material which is available on based on that you have to see and before going to see go with the previous years questions papers previous years questions and based on this you can choose your optionals choose options from here based on this you need to choose the options from here am i right so these are the four things that helps you now we are going to talk about your geography now what is this geography is all about and how to choose this option why to choose geography option see generally geography you know see generally your geography now why to choose geography etc we will see now okay see here now generally geography options most of the candidates choose and because of it choosing by the most of the candidate it has become so dicey and competition started increasing you can say sir bahut log to political science lete hain anthropology lete hain of course but if i take the average from the last two decades one or two decades the geography optional has been selected by the most and number of candidates who have appeared for the mains are also mostly from the geography optional you can check that upsc data i'll give you that upsc data also just a minute okay so why to choose geography optional geography as an optional as an optional see generally you need to choose optional optional place it was you know before 2000 before 2013 and after 2000 after 2013 so how was a question paper you know generally you had before that is up to 2012 there was two optionals two optionals and that optionals were first optional was carrying around 600 marks second optional was also carrying 600 marks okay 600 marks 600 marks then gs was carrying around 600 marks 
थ्री हंड्रेड देर वर टू पेपर्स एंड एस ए वॉज थ्री हंड्रेड मार्क्स एस ए वॉज थ्री हंड्रेड मार्क्स राइट थ्री हंड्रेड मार्क्स सो दिस इज योर ऑप्शन सो ऑप्शन यूज टू प्ले वेरी वाइटल रोल हियर ऑप्शन यूज टू प्ले वेरी वेरी वाइटल रोल हियर यू कैन सी ऑप्शन प्लेड ए वेरी वाइटल रोल वाइटल रोल इन द सेलेक्शन प्रोसेस very impetuous role in this election process but if you look at the 2013 2013 sorry this is 13 so after 2013 you see there was only one option left only one option and that option was 500 and they started increasing more on gs 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 score was you know total was 1000 marks gs 1000 marks SA two fifty marks, am I right? SA it was two fifty marks. Now in this you see out of seventeen fifty, now it is very important to select that option which is overlapping with the GS because you need to choose that option where your time is not wasted more. So geography is one option actually. geography is neither science completely neither the humanities completely it is a pseudo science it is a pseudo science that means it is a semi technical one it is semi technical one semi technical that's why people like more about the geography optional so there is a uh, it is an amalgamation of both science it is an amalgamation amalgamation of both of both the science and humanities and both science and humanities so it is neither the technical neither the these things so it is both amalgamation of both am i right here in this case it is an amalgamation of both so it is a geography option is a semi technical first of all so if it is a semi technical what happens sir if it is a semi technical kya hoga the scope of innovation increases because of its scientific and cultural these things so the scope of innovation innovation increases am i right the scope of innovation increases here because of its scientific and cultural creativity because of its scientific and cultural creativity am i right here that's why most of the engineering students so most of the engineering science and engineering students the opt for geography optional so geography optional it is less amount of abstract that is philosophical concepts are less am i right and not too much technicalities are also there it is an amalgamation of both science and humanities am i right it is both amalgamation of science and humanities that's why it can be opted by anybody from any background that is the speciality of geography optional now if i say sir why to choose this geography optional first of all so what are the myths what are the you know what are the pros and cons of it so let me tell you the pros and cons of geography optional of geography optional so what are the pros and cons of this geography optional sir see first of all mainly if i tell you what are the pros and cons so first i will tell you it has you know because of its first what are the pros you see what are the pros what are the positiveness see first of all it is a semi technical in nature semi technical in nature okay semi technical in nature and because of the semi technical nature it has more scope of innovation scope of innovation innovation where in the diagrams in the maps 
okay in that area so you have more scope more scope of innovation that is the best thing you have second positiveness is your overlapping with the gs over lapping with gs general studies how many marks it has overlap bo for both prelims and mains for mains and prelims i'll tell you sir if i choose the other option what happens if i choose the other options what happens sir okay suppose see first of all what happens if you choose the other options what is the difference between the other options and this what is the nature of this geography For, so what is the nature nature of geography as an option in the upsc optional in the ups so first thing that is it has length lengthy and you know lengthy and time duration length be because of its length and time duration time duration okay first see generally it takes these are pros and also there is a con that is positivity is there negativity is there what is this is it takes from the other options generally other institutes say hum 3 mahine mein khatam kar denge ya 4 mahine mein khatam ho jayega no not at all it takes almost 5 to 6 months of time first of all yes or no 5 to 6 months of time itna bada bada isliye i'll tell you what are the uh, this uh, even if it is a lengthy how it is helpful for the things first of all it is 5 to 6 months okay lengthy and 5 to 6 months the time duration is this much okay this much is a time duration that is length and this see what is this actually reality is if you go through the previous years the reality is if you go through the previous years questions plus syllabus syllabus then you will know what the geography optional is all about all about okay number 1 is that second nature is about your technicalities what are the technicalities which are there what are the technicalities actually there are three types first of all it has been divided like scientific semi scientific semi scientific or philosophical in nature philosophical in nature is it scientific semi scientific or philosophical in nature now what is the difference between the these three what is the difference between these three see what is the difference suppose if you if you choose the other option first i'll tell you if you choose the other options like for example if you are chosen mathematics mathematics as an option right and you are chosen geography as an option geography as an option i'll tell you what is the difference between them okay so first of all mathematics can i say it has a minimum overlapping with the gs minimal overlapping overlapping with the gs with the gs am i right so it is a minimum overlapping with the gs so what you have to do more time for option and also because of this your nature would be more time for gs and optionals both you need to dedicate because you have to read the other subjects of the gs also that is the first thing 
Suppose if you have taken geography as an optional, can I say it has a high overlapping with the GS? Highly overlapping with GS. Am I right? With the general studies, it is highly overlapping. Number one. The main thing is highly overlapping with the GS. So what you have to do? You have to dedicate. You have to dedicate less time. Less time for GS preparation. Am I right? Less time for the GS preparation. So konsa acha you have to decide. Which is more? And now we will see what is that what do you mean by a scientific in nature? Scientific in nature. That means there are only two ways. What are the things you see? What are the things here? Mainly whether I know or I do not know. Scientific ka matlab hi hota hai. Whether I know, I do not know. Like for example, if I know, I will apply apply model or theory theory or formula I'll get the solution out if I don't know out of boundary kuch nahi hoga. right this is scientific in nature right so what about geography what about the geography whether it is a scientific in nature or not see now what do you mean by semi scientific then sir semi scientific kya hota hai fir? semi scientific see what is a semi scientific is simply simply like for example there are two things i know or i do not know right i know or I do not know. Do not know. But here in the semi scientific, whether you know or you do not know, does not come. It is a scientific in nature. So majority is in between them. Majority is in between is in between both of them that is a scientific nature like for example you see suppose this is your India map right suppose you see I know that is a theory iron and steel the iron and steel industry location Weber industry location theory there is a Weber industrial location theory agar ye hai aise location theory you will study about this you don't worry right so weber industrial location theory iron and steel industry like for example on this iron and steel industry what iron and steel industry i know that that what the weber says that there are markets there is a raw material so industry will be located here raw material one raw material to or near to the market like this am i right here like this so iron and steel industry if you if you take here it is a kolkata which is a market kolkata which is a market am i right and here you have coal field coal field and here you have iron ore industry iron ore iron ore okay in between that in between iron ore uh, in between this you have your factory steel industry iron and steel industry here here you will be establishing iron and steel industry that is your Jamshedpur Jamshedpur so this is how it is a semi technical nature you even if you don't know if you know the theory you can apply and you will get it 
is it clear so this is your semi technical in nature what about the philosophical in nature sir this philosophical some social science what happens here in the philosophy or philosophy philosophical in nature if it is a philosophical in nature what happens here you see this is related with some social science some social science am i right it is related with some social science so if it is related with some social science in the philosophy there are two things contents are fixed fixed content hoga content is fixed content right fixed contents very less very less available and because of this you know variable model answers for the most questions there will be variable model answers variable model answers answers for most of the questions for most of questions am i right here so this is the thing of the philosophy which is philosophical in nature so this is the nature of the geography which is there so nature this is how the nature was there but if i talk about the nature of you know what happens why the now the question what are the challenges if you see the challenges so challenges kya hai okay what are the challenges here you see what are the challenges challenges right so first and foremost is vast syllabus okay and before going to this before going to this i'll tell you what are the how it is overlapping with the gs overlapping with gs how many marks it is overlapping with the general studies see it is divided into generally two okay generally it has it has 40% geography option has 40% of overlapping 40% of general studies general studies 40% of general studies am i right so how it is going to overlap there are two things first is direct overlap direct the other thing is indirect overlap indirect overlap indirect so what is the direct here you see direct can i say first thing which is direct here is will be my gs paper 1 पेपर वन इसमें क्या है जोग्राफी है राइट यू हैव ए जोग्राफी जोग्राफी विच कैरीज अराउंड हाउ मेनी मार्क्स एटी टू नाइंटी और हंड्रेड मार्क्स आई एम राइट एटी टू हंड्रेड मार्क्स दिस इज वन सेकेंड यू हैव टू स्टडी अबाउट द इंडियन सोसाइटी इंडियन सोसाइटी इंडियन सोसाइटी from where do you study this indian society when de, where do you study this indian society about indian society see indian society you will be studying in our population geography about the population geography you will be studying our population geography and also and cultural setting there is a topic in our geography cultural setting so from both of them around 20 30 marks you will get it okay around 20 30 marks you will get it from here am i right so indian society is one then if i tell you this is one indian society it will be one and also here most of the questions are contemporary contemporary and contemporary things there is a in your uh, geography if you see the paper 2 if you see the paper 2 syllabus right if you see this paper 2 syllabus you will be finding that there is a contemporary issues 
right? Contemporary issues, ecological issues, environmental issues like that, contemporary issues. So that will be covered here. Am I right? That also will be covered here. Okay, number two, this is direct. Another direct would be like a GS paper three. Paper three. Like how, you see, how the GS paper three would be, like for example, you have, one second here. Like, first of all, in your uh, GS paper three, GS paper three mein ye kaise direct aata hai, thik hai, dekho. Pahla ho gaya aapka agriculture, agriculture in your economy. That you can study from our agricultural geography concept. Agricultural geography concept. Okay? Agricultural geography. Yeh ho gaya aapka? Number one. Number two, aapka ho gaya environment and ecology. Environment and ecology. So, if you if you are there, say, for example, if you see, this helps in both prelims and mains, both prelims and mains. So, what you are going to read, from where you are going to read this? See, first, I'll tell you, you have environmental geography in paper one, environmental geography in paper one. Second, okay, aapka bio geography, which is also part of your agriculture, etc., soils, etc., that also helps you. Right? Second. Third, okay, aapka, you have contemporary issues. Contemporary issues. Contemporary issues. In the contemporary issues, if you see in the paper two, if you if you see there are ecological issues, environmental hazards, landslides, earthquakes, tsunami, floods, etc that also you can cover both uh, and also disaster management i'll write disaster management also okay disaster management i can write this okay so that is also helpful contemporary issues ho gaya aapka then also uh, this uh, these things disaster management ho gaya then industry infrastructure i can write third thing see third in your industry, industrial geography, industry, infrastructure, infrastructure it will help people in the economy part, right? This can be helpful from that. And also the fourth one is internal security. Internal security. Sir, how it can help in the internal security? I'll tell you. There is a topic called as a political geography, political aspects, okay? here. There is a topic called as political aspects. In that, there is a topic called as cross-border terrorism. Cross-border terrorism. So, in the cross-border terrorism, we can learn the topics from border management and also the role of state and non-state actors. Role of state and non-state actors. And also external threats which are there. Okay, that we can learn from here. So this is how the overall direct, direct it will help you. So GS paper one and paper three. Then indirectly also, indirectly also, it will help indirectly. How it will help in indirectly? Like in the IR, international relations. Because from the political aspects, geopolitical, international relation, international relations relations or relationship international relationship this is one in this year you can also world political aspects aspects geopolitics here you can write geopolitics politics about the indian ocean about your southeast asians etc etc that all things that you can study from your geography optionals. So this is an advantage, almost 40% means almost 250 marks. 250 to 300 marks are in the geography optional. From the geography optional in the GS. Am I right? So 40%, this is your 
250 to 300 like that like uh, i'm uh, roughly calculating it so almost 250 to 300 marks so 500 plus 300 marks you are preparing if you are preparing for 500 marks of geography optional then almost 300 marks is ready in the gs general studies so this is an advantage the great advantage that you have okay that is the first advantage then you have some you know uh, that you have some challenges also what are the challenges that we are going to see now so what are the challenges in this challenges and negativity there is a myths which are going on that this option is not good why it is not good because you know most of the students have failed success rate ratio is very less see i say that mainly the number of students who are appearing for examination and the quality of preparation that they put varies the number of students who are appearing for the examination and the quality of uh, you know the quality of preparation that they put they are varying that's why the success rate is going down number one so another thing is that there is a myths stay away from the myths first of all because there are myths that are created fears in the uh, in the students mind that this option is very vast yet time pe complete nahi hota and the questions the nature of questions that have been i'll also discuss the nature of questions what happened where it has gone wrong okay as i was also a, i was also a geography option student so where it has gone wrong so this is one and also what the students they are trying to miss out is the attitude towards the subject matters the most that is missing so there are certain challenges that we are going to see now the what are the challenges is first challenge is it is very vast vast syllabus but i say that as you are covering no need to cover no need extra effort extra effort to put in gs general studies i say this no need to put extra effort in the gs because is a vastness is okay vastness is there i i suppose there are two papers um uh, this um here there is a myth that the paper one which is going to paper one and paper two there are two papers here paper 2 paper 2 is of indian geography and paper 1 is your physical physical and human geography that is a world geography and human but i say that when you are reading so much you can apply the knowledge in the gs also in your essay paper also okay wherever it is needed there you can apply it number 1 number 2 number two challenge is that here the less scoring many of them they say sir ye bahut kam score aa rahe less scoring i say that it is not the less scoring but see the success rate is depends see success if i talk about the success rate success rate so if i give the data upsc data upsc data about the geography optional data now i'll tell you i'll give you the upsc data just um number of people who has appeared like you see who has appeared number of people who has appeared there like you see how many candidates has appeared if i take up the year year number of candidates appeared for the mains number of candidates appeared and number of recommended candidates and success rate success right if i say this like this suppose you see here if i say 2012 may 
in 2012 i'll tell up to 2017 2012 4351 candidates appeared in the mains and out of that 314 candidates were selected recommended and success ratio is 7.2 percentage see how much great it is and 2013 2013 3158 3158 candidates appeared and 178 people selected and this success rate is 5.6 percentage if I talk about 2014 okay 14 it was 3515 appeared in the mains and 255 candidates selected to with the option geography option success rate success rate is 7.3 percentage very very high compared to the other options 2015 if i take 16 and 17 also we'll do this 17 up to 17 so 2015 may 3391 and the success rate is 115 it has gone down of course 3.4 percentage paper was very very tough this year okay then 2016 4049 students appeared in the mains and out of that 236 students very very high success rate 5.8 percentage after this then also 2017 how many 2669 people appeared and 147 so which is 5.5 so if I take the average of all the years, average, average is in the geography optional is around, you know, seven more than seven percentage, I say. So compared to other options, the success ratio is very, very high. Okay. The success ratio is very, very high in this case. Right. Clear. So this is your one thing. Then also they say less scoring okay what is that less scoring success ratio is seven more than seven percentage in the UPC according to the UPC data less scoring sir less scoring you have compare see almost if you get around you know 250 to 300 marks in the optional that is a great score in the optional that is a great score in your option you have done very very well and also if you are scoring almost 50, 40 to 50 percentage uh, almost in your GS also then your selection is sure shot because almost the out of 300 marks you are getting 150 in the GS also 150 marks easily or 200 marks easily you can score in your optional that is your in your GS out of 1000 200 is sure shot 200 out of 1000 if you are scoring 250 from your or 200 from your geography optional only through the geography optional plus two or 250 or 200 250 I suppose 250 you're you're almost 45 to 50 percentage clear so this is very good score right so success ratio why this success ratio or less scoring see first of all scoring is less scoring can be improved how the low scoring see first of all there should be a content there should be content in your answer first and foremost thing is content like if you know something like for example i know plate tectonic theory i know sea floor spreading or i know spreading or i know something like you know continental drift theory so i out of this if their question has come from the mountain building can I write now my answer mountain building if I know the content then I can start writing this content first is content is important second is structuring of answer is very very important structuring of answer of answer is very very important third is your maps diagrams are important maps and diagrams are important that's why you know people are getting less score because of this sex okay now 
success ratio i told you right success ratio uh, lot of you know lot of facts we have to remember third myth is third myth is sir lot of facts we have to remember lot of facts in the paper 2 of course yes lot of facts that you have to remember right and also the this thing the success ratio is low success rate is high i say is low but i say it is high okay so these are the things that are there now if i talk about the nature of the questions that have been asked nature of questions in geography optional see there is 2009 and after 2009 before 2009 and after 2009 so what happens you see so generally you see 2009 se leke 2013 tak they say it is a watershed year in the history of geography option water shed years years why you see why because the questions the nature of questions you see what happened in before 2005 first question fifth question was compulsory okay first question was world map right and also the fifth question if you see was from different aspects that is perspectives or human population geography like that second question was from geomorphology okay third question was from climatology and fourth question is from oceanography this was guarantee oceanography and this was carrying around how many marks you know this was carrying around 60 marks 60 marks and here fifth question sixth seventh and eighth and eighth question was from models and theories theories ab dekho i have to write two questions compulsory right two questions was compulsory for me so what was the two questions first question was compulsory for me fifth question was compulsory for me so what i i will do just i'll read so before that i will use to practice world map world map climatology mujhe acha laga climatology acha laga so i read climatology then uh i read the geomorphology and i read two one this chapter chapters plus two more chapters in paper one that is your models and theories and your perspectives and population over kitne chapters total out of 10 chapters if i out of 10 chapters if i read five chapters over my job was done my job was done but after that and here 60 marks but after that they have removed now first question is first question is about you see first question in that a b c d e this is from geomorphology this is from climate this is from oceanography this is from biogeography and this is from environmental geography compulsory you have to attempt number 1 and here the questions out of that this is now 10 marks questions right and fifth question also fifth question also a b c d and e that is mainly you know perspectives perspectives of human geography population settlement okay models and theories mein se aise so this was your pattern you need to read the 10 chapters now you cannot escape and also 
these are 10 marks so 60 marks have been come down to 20 marks and 15 marks and 10 marks this is the nature of the geography this is the nature of the geography is it clear so this was the nature of the geography but now you know you see this is one thing and also and also the questions that were asked okay that was questions that were asked mostly what type of questions they are asking you see what type of questions that are been asked mainly unauthorized you know unauthor orthodox questions they have started asking i'll tell you just a minute right so since and after 2009 since and after 2009 i say that they started also asking unorthodox areas unorthodox areas were targeted un ortho dox areas were targeted by the upsc targeted or targeted like like you see in the bio geography bio geography most of the people they miss this bio geography i say see they read only climatology geomorphology oceanography okay bahut pyar karte hai isse magar there are very easy topics see in the geomorphology the questions if the questions are unorthodox what you will do you cannot you cannot attempt the other questions so the bio geography which is very easy the environmental geography which is very easy they miss this and they you know in the bio geography also there was only two topics soils and biomes biomes but now they are also asking the questions like two like you know previously there were two areas these were the two areas but now floristic regions faunistic regions factor controlling distribution of flora and fauna factors controlling distribution of flora and fauna they started asking these questions okay floristic regions also so the nature of questions has been changed previously if i say the static dynamic so static portion was 60 to 70 percentage and dynamic portion was 20 to you know 30 to um, 30 or 20 to 30 to 40 percentage 20 to 40 percentage okay 20 to uh, 30 to 40 percentage but now after 2009 the static area has reduced to 50 to 60 percentage and also the dynamic area has increased from 50 to 60 percentage the nature of questions has changed what is the nature of questions you know there was three types of questions that were there what are the nature of the questions see the nature of questions has been changed it was it was you see uh, what was the nature of the questions are problematic questions direct questions and the indirect questions were there like for example the nature of questions after 2000 before 2009 and after 2009 right so how was this see first i say the first is about your basic or straight questions straight forward questions straight forward questions tha right second type of questions is problematic questions difficult questions problematic questions and third type of questions are exceptional questions or abnormal questions 
abnormal questions. What happens? You see here. अब यहां पे क्या हुआ तीन तरह के क्वेश्चन थे वॉट आर दैट स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड प्रॉब्लमैटिक एंड अब नॉर्मल क्वेश्चन सो इन दी स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड क्वेश्चन बिफोर देर वर यू नो हाउ मेनी फिफ्टी टू सिक्सटी परसेंटेज बट नाउ इट हैज चेंज टू थर्टी टू फोर्टी परसेंटेज ओनली एंड हियर प्रॉब्लमैटिक क्वेश्चन दे स्टार्टेड आस्किंग फोर्टी टू फिफ्टी परसेंटेज Okay, 40 to 50. Now it has increased to 60 to 70 percentage, and this is 0 to 10 percentage here and 0 to 10 percentage here. So what happened here in this case that the problematic question, that is the subtopical questions, subtopics, questions have come from the subtopics, subtopics. So mostly, if you study the topic wise, but if you forget these subtopics. the questions came from here so that's why you know people are not able to success okay so what is our strategy at diademy what is our strategy see we cannot you cannot have you cannot uh, read this uh, geography at one go there are stages so what is the strategy you see strategy of geography optional what is the strategy see first of all what was the strategy is simple right there are four stages first stage first stage you need to build your basics okay building basics first stage would be building basics basics so how to build the basics through your ncrt so we also provide you ncrt here so 6 to 2 12th we provide ncrt first before going to the foundation courses main basic course main courses first we'll give you the ncrt for one month that is 6 to 12th we are going to provide you the ncrt course building basics that is how you build the base base is perfect then we are going to build the house now that is your second stage would be second stage would be your foundation main course main course or it is a foundation course foundation course where we build beyond the basics now okay how how to read that how to you know how to read at this course see first of all here we are going to provide you handouts handouts number 1 plus okay some material we are going to provide you material right plus you how to read apart from this plus some standard books sir why standard books again we have to, it is standard books is for only reference i am telling you reference reference point of view out of these three you can make your own notes out of it crispy clear cut notes out of it this is very 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 important integrated and interactive approach this is okay where we provide here a diademy integrated and interactive integrated and interactive approach interactive approach here approach will come here okay in this case integrated and interactive approach then the third stage would be now the third stage what is the third stage sir here at the diademy we are going to provide you the revision revision class okay revision and consolidation is important in the third stage consolidation is important and the fourth stage that you have to do your own and the fourth stage is your answer writing now mainly mentorship or answer writing skills we are we are providing you answer writing also that is framing of questions and answer. 
that is framing of answers structuring of answers for the questions so these things that we are going to provide you at the diadem may okay so in the next sessions we are going to see about the decoding of syllabus what is physical geography what is human geography which is carrying more and how to overcome the challenges myths which are there generally the physical i'll tell you one thing that in the syllabus if you take the geography optional geography optional syllabus optional there is a physical geography and there is human geography human geography i'll tell you only one thing here okay so but if you see the syllabus syllabus of the syllabus generally the syllabus says sir physical geography consist of only 35 percentage and human geography plays very very vital role in your selection nowadays okay after 2009 2012 after to that water study year human geography consist of more than 65% of the syllabus where physical geography consist of this in many of the institutes i'll tell you many of the institutes okay throughout the india north that is throughout the pan india they teach only physical geography for 3 to 4 months and they finish this world human geography in one month over aapka course khatam ho gaya you can go now but we are not going to do this we are going to give okay more preference will be given to the human geography and also at the same time balanced approach will be there for the physical geography and human geography where you want more time that there you can give okay balanced approach will be there everything will cover almost i'm not telling that will cover 100% of the syllabus we'll try to cover 85 to 90% of the syllabus and remaining all you have to syllabus 85 to 90% of the syllabus will be covered here okay and notes will be provided in the class some notes will be dictated diagrams also and also in the class within the class we are also going to provide see as the sessions will be going on classes as the sessions will be going on what we'll do we'll do the topics okay first we'll discuss the topics discussion will be there and also wherever it is necessary i'll give you the question and answers okay we'll also discuss the question and answers new and also the previous years questions so here we are also providing you answer writing answer writing okay answer writing see initially you cannot understand for first one week but as a later class progress all the dots which are there it will be connected so all the dots which are there like this so all the dots which are there it will be connected as the class progresses it will be connected okay it will be connected like this like this is it clear so here we are going to provide and also we are also having a separate answer writing program that i will discuss that later answer writing program for those who are writing mains answer writing mains and also program that is for test series it is like test series not a test series we say but it is an answer writing programs brainstorming in the sessions this i'll discuss another one okay another video i'll discuss with you and also i'll also discuss about the decoding of the syllabus coding of syllabus and also this these two things which i am going to discuss in the next video
and also the sources of in this only i'll discuss about the sources of geography option sources of geography option right so this is how we are going to see and uh, thank you so much we'll meet in the next session